Water, one of the Earth's most valuable resources. Water is essential to all life. Our very existence depends on it, as our human bodies are composed primarily of this most essential element. But what is the future of this most precious resource? And are we preserving its life-giving capacity? There are many industries that we have implemented on a global scale that are unsustainable to the future of our planet. They may serve specific needs, but use unsustainable technologies. When we start to broaden our perspective on the technologies we use, we start to care more about what we're doing. And thus, we start to implement better and more sustainable systems that can safeguard our environment. We look to nature and find an abundance of intelligent design. Through this biomimicry, we can create technologies that are both effective and sustainable. And finally, protect our planet's precious resources for our future and the future of our home. We at Blue Crane Treatment Wetlands specialize in the treatment of wastewater in one natural and robust system. We have been involved with the design, installation and operation of these facilities for the past 15 years. To date, Blue Crane Wetlands has designed and installed sewage treatment facilities at 10 highway service stations located throughout South Africa. The oldest of these facilities has been in operation for the past 15 years and the effluent from the system has constantly been of a high quality. Let's take a closer look at how our excellent water treatment system works. Our system uses natural microorganisms and reed beds to turn wastewater into reusable water of high quality. Nothing else is required in terms of chemical treatment and manpower, and the maintenance of the system is minimal. The mysterious working of the system is hidden from human sight. A rich, diverse population of life forms, including bacteria and protozoa, inhabit the matrix of sand, stone, and plant roots in the wetland. Microbes have been found to consume toxic waste, breaking down a vast range of chemical and organic pollutants. Microbes can thus be used to clean up contaminated wastewater from different industrial sites. In fact, they can even clean up oil spills. The reed bed technology itself is widely used for the treatment of wastewater throughout the world. And we at Blue Crane have ample experience with regards to these systems. Blue Crane is in partnership with ARM reed beds in the United Kingdom. ARM are the market leaders in design and construction, employing the latest technologies to provide natural wastewater solutions. ARM supplies us with the process design and detail design, as well as some critical components related to the aeration of the system. So how does it work? The system consists of three parts through which the wastewater flows. The settler, the forced aeration horizontal flow bed and the vertical flow bed. Raw wastewater gravitates from the source into a settler, which typically consists of three chambers. Solids and fluids are progressively separated from each chamber to the next. Solids are partially broken down and mineralized by microorganisms in the settler phase of the system. From the third chamber of the settler, the effluent gravitates into the secondary treatment wetland, a horizontal flow forced aeration reed bed. This wetland structure is watertight and is filled with aggregate and planted with wetland reeds. The wastewater effluent enters the reed bed and flows horizontally into an outlet structure. The retention time is approximately two days during which the microbes break down and consume the pollutants in the water. The reed bed is equipped with an aeration system. ARM supplies some critical components. The aeration system transfers oxygen into the wastewater and increases the activity of the microorganisms by up to 15 times. 
The treated water at the outlet is generally of such a quality that it can be discharged into nature. It complies with the Department of Water Affairs general standards. The effluent from the forced aeration reed bed is pumped into a tertiary treatment system. Tertiary treatment is used to polish the effluent and further improve the quality. This is done with the use of a vertical flow reed bed, also filled with coarse river sand and planted with Phragmites australis reed. The partially treated wastewater is irrigated uniformly onto the surface of the bed from where it percolates vertically to the bottom. The reed bed is never saturated but merely damp and allows for the movement of air into the upper layers of the sand. A collection system accumulates the effluent at the bottom of the bed into a manhole from where it is utilised for secondary purposes or discharged into nature. Water quality reports show that the treated water from the tertiary treatment reed bed complies with the general standards of DWAF. The water is extensively used for irrigation purposes and is of a consistently high quality. Our UK partners are confident that the water can be recirculated for the flushing of toilets after some disinfection. Now that we have a clear understanding of how our wet and treatment system works, we can see that the system is a complete solution to the treatment of wastewater. It is a tried and tested, risk-free, robust and 100% reliable system. The Blue Crane Wetland Treatment System is environmentally friendly, cost effective and requires limited manual intervention for the upkeep of its long lasting lifespan. Blue Crane Treatment Wetland Systems. Water treatment for the future.